Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome to another one of my videos. I am currently standing outside the Efteling Hotel. Very beautifully positioned over here. Um, this is where we're staying on this little trip that we have. We are going to Efteling for a couple of days. It's a theme park in Holland. A lot of you guys have been asking me to visit Efteling for like many years. And very excited to experience it, very excited to experience the hotel. Um, and I thought I'd give you like a full on tour of the hotel as much as I can. So in this video, hopefully you should be able to see a room tour, uh, a bit of the restaurant, the bar maybe, um, the actual lobby area of the hotel. Obviously you can see the outside of it as well. It's really cool, like very well designed. Apparently it's meant to be like a floating hotel. Like if you look at it from here, um, it kind of goes up and then goes down. So it, it looks, it's, it's a very cool design basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, it's the main hotel here, as you can see it says Efteling Hotel, really cool. Uh, we've already obviously been inside so I, I know what it looks like but um, yeah, it's been a wonderful stay so far and yeah, I'm excited to show you around it. We've been staying here in September 2019 and it's been pretty dead to be honest. So even now as you can see it's like around 6pm, there's hardly anyone chilling outside in the bars or anything. It's been pretty quiet, which is kind of nice. So there you go. When you first enter the hotel lobby, you see a beautiful little sofa area. It's very like royal and I love it and you've got this beautiful sign situation here as well that says like that's the escalier the, the I'm guessing the stairs that's the buffet for breakfast which you will also get to see in this video the toilets the bar the restaurant um, and yeah the terrace area is over there so it's a nice little signage area and on the left here is where you would come to check in the staff members here have been so so lovely throughout our, the past couple of days that we've been here um, yeah it's a really nice little area cute things on the top over there you've got two little sofas here you've got these things again giving you a bit of a royal vibe one of my favorite things is this so you know how in a lot of hotels that you go they have like different clocks showing different cities around the world like important cities like normally it's like London New York Hong Kong kind of thing um, this one's got obviously Efteling Hotel which is where we're staying at now so it's five minutes to six here and then Panda Dream which is one of the parts of Efteling the theme park and it's about only five minutes to twelve there Villa Volta is the madhouse in Efteling so if you want to check out what that looks like you need to subscribe down below or just I'll put a link down below so you can check out my Efteling vlog of the actual theme park because uh, that's a separate vlog and it was such a fun experience and I love the fact that they've got it upside down so because it's a madhouse the sign is also upside down and then we've got this book slot. Um, so yeah, these are the times. I think it's a really, very nice touch to the theming of the whole vibe. Here we've got some more sofas. Very nice. There's a little kids area here as well with like a TV. I'm gonna be quiet because this child seems to be watching something at the moment. But this is the logo of Efteling, guys. As you can see, this is like this E situation is basically Efteling's logo. And it's really nice. On the right of this TV situation is the toilets, which, are good, I've used them a couple of times. Um, there's some more sofas here, some like book situation there. <laughs> These boots, which I only actually noticed earlier today. There's Marie, comes with the hotel. <laughs> that is the restaurant, which I'll show you later. But I'm gonna show you the shop as well because we do have a beautiful shop here. I've literally our own hotel shop. And sometimes in the mornings, you might get characters from Efteling coming to say hi to you in this area. So just over here, we have a lot of beautiful like artwork from different Efteling situations. That's where Little Red Riding Hood over there. Sleeping Beauty. I really enjoy her. Marie really, really enjoys the ship sheep here. That long neck guy. Again, if you want to find out more about these people, watch my Efteling vlog. But um, it's a really small shop, but it's still pretty cool. So this guy here, he's literally my favorite person. My new favorite person anyway. Um, he's called Petrus, Petrus, oh, I've forgotten his name now. Yeah, I think that's something, something like that. We met him earlier today. He's lovely, he's one of the main, I think he is actually the icon of Efteling. Um, so he's everywhere. They have some Efteling Monopoly here, which is interesting. That's cool. Um, they've got some Efteling, oh, these, these we have in our uh, rooms as well. So if you keep watching, you'll see these in our actual room. So we couldn't like, they weren't um, to take away, obviously. They were just a part of the room. 
but you can get them to take with you as well they've got some of these some uh, water bottles it looks like over here these are cute as well some children's toys etc eight euros these are by the way for five euros you can get some keychains which are cute this one's cute uh, you can't really see it there you go that's the girl Pedro's girlfriend I believe that's the actual main guy the icon of Efteling there's some little like kids' outfits, like princess outfits, if people want to become princesses themselves. We've got a card section here, which is cute. I, if you can tell here, I've got a bag here <laughs> full of stuff that I've bought from one of the shops in the actual park. So again, if you want to see what I've bought, if you check out my vlog from the Efteling theme park, you will be able to see it at the end of it. I do a little, little tiny haul. But um, yeah, these are some of the cards that you can get. Also, when we first uh, arrived, they gave us a free card each and they were like, oh, if you just write whatever you want on it and then post it, you can do it for free. You don't need any stamps or anything. Just send it and it will be sent for free on that card. So let's just go inside and have a look inside the shop as well. It is pretty small, like I said, and very quiet. And at the moment, as you can see, there's no one even here. So it's pretty interesting. You get these books here, which are cool. Some books about Efteling fairy tales, both in English and in Dutch, which is very nice and appreciative because obviously, unfortunately, I don't speak Dutch. But I really would like to learn now because it's a really fun language. Uh, you can get, oh, that's cool, The Making of Baron. Really, really fun ride and you can get a full-on DVD of it. That's cool, 9.99 euros. Got a Baron book, an Efteling guide. Um, a lot of fairy tale stuff. I, I think it's so cool. You can even get like Efteling type like shampoos and toothbrushes and this is Marie's favorite person. <laughs> Yeah, that's cute. Uh, puzzles as well, really cool. Uh, I don't know what this is. These plates are really, really nice. I love them, so adorable. And these mugs as well. And you can even get some drinks, some beverages, some bubbles with the Efteling. Oh, Marie tried this beer, I think, last night. Um, so yeah, that was also something that we did. What's this? Is that a bookmark? I'm not sure what it is. No, it's like a little bracelet. That's cute. They can get some chocolates, some little plushies, umbrellas, uh, plushies of Little Red Riding Hood, and the random princess whose name I don't know, but she's just like a very generic princess. We saw her in our hotel room the other day in the morning. She's just like, everything about her is so like typical. She's got blonde hair, <laughs> a pink dress, and she's a princess, and I don't really know how I feel about that. Marie, again, this is like, I really want to get this for Marie low-key because I feel like she'd love it. Let me see how much it is. Oh, there's no price on it, which is really annoying. But anyway, Marie, if you're watching this, shout out to you. I know how much you enjoy this guy. Um, but yeah, this is basically the little shop that we have. It's very small. It's literally like a room. Um, and I can't even see anyone here. There's some magnets here as well. But yeah, I can't even see I could check out the place. So I feel like if I were to buy something from here, I'd have to then take it to the movie reception and pay there. I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, that is more or less it of the lobby area. It's really, really nice. So yeah, that's basically the hotel. If you want to see what the breakfast options are available, continue watching because you'll hopefully find out in the next clip. Good morning guys, it's about 9.40 in the morning and I'm just going down to the breakfast area at the hotel to get some breakfast and show you the buffet. So there's a little sign for your breakfast, it's right next to the reception area where you check in. And yeah, I'm very very tired, sorry. It takes me a while normally in the morning to properly wake up. Nice little welcome sign, cute. Let's go. Ah, Marie's already over there. I'm gonna go and say hi to her before I go and show you the breakfast. This is what the breakfast area looks like, guys. You can get a variety of teas, coffees, which I had yesterday as well. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, some stuff for your tea and coffees. And then here we have some of the hot stuff, such as pancakes. So. Had some of these yesterday, they were pretty nice. Um, they don't have maple syrup though, instead, they had honey. I think I don't know, I just had it on its own, and then bacon, um, some scrambled eggs, two bowls of them because I guess it's quite popular. Had some of the scrambled eggs yesterday as well, it was all right, it wasn't phenomenal, if I'm honest. Then we move on to the other side, which is this side here, and then here. <laughs> They've got some cute little things that you can put on toast and stuff, like sprinkles, because literally apparently that is a thing. It makes me so happy, I don't know why. Some jams and whatnot, some butter, 
regular stuff. They don't have any Nutella though. I guess but instead of Nutella they have these sprinkly things. So yesterday, because I just saw these and I love chocolate and I love sprinkles and I love happy things, I decided to have some of these. I just took them on my plate not knowing what to do with them. And I ended up having a bit of them on my pancake, I think, on my croissant and then literally just some of it on its own. So I might take a bit of, a bit of this again today. We have some standard cheeses and kind of fish and salmon. Salmon, quite a lot of salmon actually. I'm going to try it today because Marie had it yesterday and she said it was really good. Some cereal stuff, I guess. Yogurts, fruits, which is cool. And then there's also obviously a bread section here. <laughs> well, I've just noticed these. They're really fun because we're in the afternoon hotel. I enjoy the kind of king vibe. Um, yeah, there's eggs there. Obviously some bread here. More bread, more bread, more bread, bread. Croissants, which are my favorites normally. Believe it or not, I prefer croissants to regular, like loyalty to pound chocolate. As a lot of people think, because I'm a big chocolate fan, I go for pound chocolate, but no, no, no. My go-to always is always um, croissants. There is a toaster as well, of course, with some toasts. And over here we have a section with apple juice, which I might have today. I need a coffee as well though. Orange juice and something in the middle. Multivitamin juice, which is interesting. Loads of cups and some fruits here. And some more juices, I guess. Let's see what's here. We've got smoothies, chocolate milk, that's cute. Uh, ice water, oh, that's also good. Milk and yogurt drink. So that is basically it. I'm gonna fill up my plate. I'm probably not gonna eat a lot. Oh, the donut section. Sorry, I forgot to show you this. I had some donuts yesterday as well. This is the donut section and it's pretty cute. I had a chocolate donut and I put some chocolate sprinkles on it yesterday. Like literally the unhealthiest thing you could have, but it was a nice breakfast. This is what's on my plate. <laughs> Three croissants, ham and cheese, some light butter, so that's good at least. Uh, some of these sprinkles. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this. Well, I find out a mixture. It's also very beautiful and sunny. Marie, you are having- I need to stock up on my saturated fats. <laughs> Fair enough, those pancakes were really good. They're really good. Yeah. So I, I agree with them. Okay. I've got some apple juice as well, and I'm probably going to get some coffee later. So there you go, that is breakfast at the Efteling Hotel. So guys, our room is on the second floor of the Efteling Hotel, which is really, really cool. I love the floors here as well, look at it. Blue and nice. Can I actually match my shoes? I don't know I'm wearing some vans, as I always do, and they're kind of like bluish, I don't know, navy vans. So I really enjoy looking at my feet whilst I'm walking on this beautiful blue carpet. Our room is room number 204. Something I've noticed in this hotel, I'm not sure if it's a thing all across Holland or if it's just this hotel, but basically um, the rooms don't go in order. So it's not like basically, obviously we've, you just saw our room 204. The one next to it, you would presume would be 203. It's not, it's 202. If you can see it, <laughs> the lighting's not very good. There you go, that's 202. And then obviously we've got 204, which is our room. And then the one after that is 206. So they did this thing where in every section you have like either even numbers or odd numbers. I'm a fan of odd numbers. I prefer odd numbers to even numbers. I know that's a very random thing to be like specific on, but I've always preferred odd numbers. Um, so that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? That we're an even number. I'm joking. It obviously doesn't bother me at all. But yeah, this is the outside of our room, room two. 04 on the second floor if it decides to yep focus this is the little room key situation that we get which is very cute as well um slow tail cart it's literally got a picture of a key and then you open it like this this is our tickets i think uh oh my friend marie obviously booked the room so that's her name we get it out one second there you go you even got a key on the actual card that's cute love it right we're gonna go and have a look into the room so lord have legit mercy when you come in let me just close this wonderful i'm gonna put these here let's turn some of these lights on as well perfect so the first thing that you notice when you first come into the room is that it's a bit of a hallway situation um which is interesting because most rooms when you come in you straight away see the bed this room is so big you'll see in a second but before we do that let me show you this section here it's kind of like a little hanging situation. I don't know what that means. So if you're a Dutch person, please let me know. The new Claren van der Kai. I'm guessing it just means like a hanger type vibe. This guy, very interesting. He was in our hotel last night. So that's also fun. This is obviously a little cart situation. You have a section here. These are all my friend Marie's stuff. Shout out to my friend Marie. Marie, would you like to say hi? Yeah. <laughs> that was Marie's voice. You'll see her in a second. Um, this is it. I love the detailing, literally. It's not even the same, like, look at that, the patterns 
everywhere was so cool. Anyway, so you've got some space here. Um, the floor is the same, the carpet. And then here you have a safe, which is obviously very useful. Are these yours, Marie? These things here? For the clothing. No, 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 sorry, that the, the, the shoes? Did you uh, did you see the shoes in the in the cupboard? <laughs> they're not they're not yours. Did you not, did you see these? Did we get slippers? Oh okay. No. Did you see them the other day? No, I didn't see them. They're they're the stuff there. You can't pick, you them, can't up. pick them up. <laughs> it's very <laughs> weird. Okay. So we have some fake slippers that aren't even. I, I was, they're also quite small, so I don't think your feet would. <laughs> no. um, but that's uh, that's the thing. There's, there is a mini bar as well. Am I, is it gonna, it's not gonna hurt if I open the mini bar, is it? No, no there you go. Up. These are options that you can get in the mini bar. Oh, these look good. Anyway, so that's the mini bar and uh, the first little cupboard area. This one has a mirror, hello, I'm Sam. If you didn't know me, follow me and subscribe to me and do everything that you want to make my life happier. Thank you very much, I love you guys. Um, let's open this. Oh, the, the, these are definitely Marie's beautiful clothes. This is actually really nice. Um, she doesn't even know what I'm talking about, but yeah. You get some extra pillows and stuff, I think, up there. You've got some space for your, like I said, outfits and stuff. And then, you finally get to the room. And you can kind of see Marie's legs right now. Beautiful, very nice. It, it is just so big, guys. So I'm going to step in and give you like a quick pan, then I'll show you a bit more detail. So, one, two, three. <laughs> Look at that. I'll maybe put them on in a second. <laughs> It's big. This room is big. I can't explain to you how big it is. You probably can't really tell from this video, but it is a huge... What was the, what was the kind of type family room, was it? Just, you can uh, say? Family... Uh, something... Uh, family. Something family. Something family. 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 family? Okay, family. we'll go with that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've basically got three beds here. Like one double bed and two single beds, but more or less two beds. This whole area is phenomenal. It's very big. There's loads of space here. This little chair and table situation is extremely cute. I'm just going to take this off for a second because we have a game. We have to play that tonight. We have to, we really do. It's, it's got the rules here and then yeah you've got like a dice and, and little situations. We definitely have to play this. That's really cool that the actual table is a game. Cute little chair there. Slightly bigger chair here. Nice little lamp. Very cool. Um, Marie's beautiful boots. <laughs> Marie's beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we've got shoe shines as well. <laughs> the window is something else. It's, it's Number one, it's very big. I feel like a princess because like, whew, look at this situation. The view obviously average, but the window is so big and the actual curtains as well. Look at that, I'm just going to show you here. Oh my god, is it, I mean, it, I was going to say, is it Rapunzel's hair? It's not, but it feels a bit like mm -hmm. holding Rapunzel's hair. I enjoy it a lot. It's a big, 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 big window. Um, that is not normally there, but Marie has brought it here from uh, the toilet because it's actually very convenient to have it here because the lighting from the window in the mornings is phenomenal and then you can do your makeup and stuff um so yeah these are the beds i'm just going to show you mine um nothing like too special in terms of the beds nice little blue what do you call these things uh throws that you put on <laughs> Marie's <laughs> basically a nice little thing these are my pajamas you get like little little lights and like bedside lamps and table situations as well you have a full-on plug area here in fact let me just show you this we have an empty situation Marie is waiting for me to show you something quite interesting <laughs> this is the Efteling logo by the way obviously we're in the Efteling hotel so uh, we see ease everywhere um I quite like the wallpaper as well there's a lot of cool details of dragons and little girls playing and stuff on the wallpaper I'm going to turn maybe some of the lights on now. Why not? Oh, that just turned on. That one on. I don't actually know what happened. This one turns on like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Whew, wow, it feels like it's bedtime. It's not. It's afternoon time. Anyway, so yesterday when we first arrived, I was trying to put this into the plug because I wanted to charge <laughs> my vibes. And then I just, obviously, you know, there's a plug thing there. And I looked down and Lord have mercy. Can you see that, guys? There's a mouse in our room. I, when I first saw it, Marie was in the bathroom and I literally got like, I, I was scared. I think I might have done a little scream initially because I, initially you just think it's a mouse because the way it's positioned, it's literally like a mouse. There's an actual hole. The detail in this room is just insane. Anyway, so yeah, good, good plug situation. The plug situation is actually there. It's not even on the floor, so even more convenient. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to show you. We, oh, we have a TV in a really cool area which is this you just open it like or slide it there you go 
slide it there you go Ooh. and then you have your tv we kind of had a watch at some of the channels last night most of them are in dutch but they did have a few like english films. yeah subtitled films. subtitled films as well so it's not too bad we have another lamp here uh these are all my stuff randomly my laptop some books etc oh you get we got given a postcard each as well when we first entered oh, yeah. for free which was cute and you also are you actually going to send it do you think because yeah, they said they'll send it for us for free you also get these little coloring pens coloring pencils i don't know these were all in our room when we arrived which is cute um this says something again i don't really obviously unfortunately understand dutch but there's a little writing situation on the table which is cool um we get an Efteling Hotel little guide thing here. There is room service as well, which is fun. Oh, this is really cute. This uh, feather pen. It's an actual pen. It does say Efteling on it. Is it focusing? Anyways, it's a pen. Um, and that's really, really cool. It just gives it the kind of old school palacey edge. You got obviously a table, not a table, a chair here, a table here, a bin. And then the last thing I guess to show you, because I've showed you the room, more or less, is the bathroom. So the bathroom and the toilet is separate, which is quite good actually, convenient, because if you're here with a friend or if you're here with a massive family, which you can do because, like I said, there's loads of beds. Um, if one of them's in the shower, for instance, the other person can still go and have a wee. <laughs> That's always convenient. So let's go into the toilet. Let's turn this on. Whew, there you go. So we have a bath, which is nice, quite deep actually for a hotel bath. These are really cute. I like them a lot. Very cute little vibes with the shower gel and shampoo and conditioner and everything. The shower's pretty good as well. I'm loving the details here. Also, this is cool. And then here, obviously we have a window, not a window, a mirror. Hello, I'm back again. Make sure to subscribe down below. Thank you very much, I love you guys. <laughs> I'm joking, you don't have to subscribe. Do what you want with your lives. Um, yeah, we've got a nice little, uh, what's the word, mirror. And then these lamps are some of my favourite things if it decides to, yeah, there you go, can you see them? They look like actual candles. Again, nicely detailed, really, really cool. Love them a lot. And then the sink, I don't know what's happening here actually, maybe I should do that, okay. There's a sink, um, they provide you with those towels as well, of course. We have the soap here, hand, hand soap. Um, and then here, again, I'm not sure what it says, but, oh, okay, that's that. There's a little thing there. I've only just discovered this actually. Good. And then we've got some tissues here, some towels here, and then here, Damas and Heron. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't understand the rest of it. You open, and it's a uh, hairdryer. So that's cool. I haven't used it yet, but I'm probably going to wash my hair tonight. So yeah, I'm going to have to use it then. This is the bathroom. I think it's a really good bathroom. And then here we've got some stuff as well, which again, I don't, unfortunately I don't understand. So if you, any of my Dutch followers want to let me know what it says, or just give me a vibe of what it says, that would be cool. Because uh, Dutch is very similar to German. And I understand German, but like, yeah, it's still, still a bit different. So we are now going to enter, or leave this place and enter probably the most boring part of this room, which is obviously the toilet. And it's right next to the bathroom. And it's literally just a small little toilet. There you go. That's it. I'm just gonna close it actually. Same kind of tiling, um, toilet paper, another bin, toilet paper, and it's quite blue, which is good. I feel like the whole theming of this hotel is blue, which as you guys know is my favorite color, so I appreciate it. But yeah, that's more or less the room. I'm just gonna give you a little pan of it from this angle as well, so you can see it. It is genuinely very big. It's perfect for families, I would say, so yeah definitely recommend it in terms of space wise i don't remember the last time i stayed in such a big room to be fair so really really cool um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this before i end this video though uh, last night we went for a meal in one of the restaurants downstairs in our hotel so we're gonna go to that now we are about to have dinner in our Efteling hotel restaurant which looks beautiful from the outside very nice there's marie over there she's about to Get us a little table. I'm very, very excited. Oh, can we just wherever it's just oh, for not whoa, beautiful. This is very nice. Look at this, lovely. We have just received our beautiful dinner, diner menus. I enjoy this flower here as well. Um, the time, by the way, is 1958, so nearly eight o'clock local time. 
Uh, I think we're both going to go for the three course menu, right? <laughs> Was it called the Kings? Yeah, we haven't really had anything to eat today, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look so you can get. Oh, okay. Is this just one? Have you just got like one page? <laughs> or is your menu a bit different? No, mine's the same. Okay, it's fair. Yeah. Fair. Menu. And it's just, yeah, so we've got the appetizer, starter. Uh, there's some burgers and stuff. There's basically a lot of stuff here. I'm very, very tired. We've been traveling all day, so yeah. I'm going to choose something and then I'll speak to you, I guess, when the food is here. <laughs> Our oh, drinks sorry. have arrived and we just had a oh, sip of her nice. beer. <laughs> Lovely life. After a long day. Yeah, we've had it. And I mean, we've had a long day, guys. I didn't vlog our journey here, but it's been pretty long. Um, yeah. Uh, I found we found what we found earlier, which is the Three Course King's surprise menu, which is here, and it's 39 euros, which isn't too bad, I guess, with the amount of stuff you get. I think I'm gonna go for basically we can go for one of these starters here, which there are quite a lot of options, and then main courses. I'm probably gonna go for a burger, and then the desserts look really really nice as well. Coffee and treats, the crepes, the chocolate scoops. Lord have mercy, the options are endless. Also, it really makes me happy that um, when you see the french fries on the menu, it says with mayonnaise because that is the only way <laughs> to, to serve fries, in my opinion. And the Dutch know how to do it. Well done, guys. It's too beautiful to eat. So, <laughs> Marie is thinking her food is too beautiful. You got the King Surprise starter, the lovely. Is that the chef? Someone that works here? He looks very great. Um, the king. He's the king. He's the king. Yeah. The king came and explained to us what Marie's food is. Capaccia that was? Yeah, some meat. Tomato some soup. Meat, some meat. Some more meat. Some looks meat. really, really good. I just went for the chicken thigh situation uh, with some salad for my starter. I love some chicken thighs and salad's alright, I guess. So mine's quite simple. Still really nicely presented. I'm very excited, Marie. Bon appetit. Marie's main course has arrived. Looks rather sophisticated. You had a bit <laughs> Mine is just like a ribeye steak with some butter and chips and mayo. Very exciting. Also, the atmosphere is really good. Also, the chat has been really good. What are we talking about? Can I call it <laughs> body <laughs> modifications? Yeah. <laughs> it's been it's been weird. <laughs> I'm cute. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna eat that. Some time has passed. <laughs> Marie's food has arrived. Oh, dessert has arrived. How was your food? Good? Yeah, my steak was really nice as well. You also said again, a surprise plateau of various things. Did the guy explain? Or just no. bought? <laughs> just got in front of the Well, it looks good. I've got the chocolate situation, which I didn't even realize, and Marie pointed out the actual bowl is made of chocolate. So, well done to that. Um, still got my apple juice situation. The time is. About 9.30. We are now leaving <laughs> the restaurant. It's rather, it's not even that late, but it's very, very quiet here, guys. It's weird, it's isn't it? It's a good sign. It is a good, a good sign. sign, I love it. Um, oh, it's the restaurant, the Hoffelnick Herald. You can probably see it up there. Um, yeah, so that was our food. I'm gonna go back to previous Sam now, so you can see more of the hotel. Okay, it's back to me now. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the room in Efteling Hotel. Um, leave comments down below, let me know what you think of this room, if you've ever stayed at the Efteling Hotel, um, what your favorite part is. For me, I think my favorite part, weirdly, is the mouse. As much as I don't like it, Marie is lolly. <laughs> and we may name him Craig, haven't we? Craig, Craig the mouse. Yeah, as much as like, it, feel, it felt a bit odd initially because it genuinely feels like you're living with a mouse. I think it's such a cool detail that they've added. Um, so that's my favorite bit part. But yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this whole video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, you have reached a bonus section of this video. Well done for having watched up to this point. Um, we are now in our little bar area in the Efteling Hotel. So if you wanted to know a little bit more about the hotel, you've so far seen the rooms, the lobby, the restaurant, basically everything to do with the hotel. But there is also a little bar. And this is where we are right now with my friend Marie, who you have also been seeing throughout <laughs> the video. <laughs> um, and it's quite cute, it's chilled. The atmosphere is pretty nice. Uh, we've ordered food, you can order food as well, food from the restaurant, they do it here as well. Um, yeah, and you get these cute little, we didn't get these yesterday in the restaurant, but we get these situations for our cutlery. Marie has decided to go for <laughs> the theme park exclusive. What's it actually called? Hotel de Bot? Yeah, Efteling Blonde Beer. Mm. Are you going to do a little taste test? She loves her beer, so. <laughs> okay, good. Moment of truth. 
nice. Yeah, is it? Craft beer, sort of. All right. Like, poppy. Too. Okay. Not as nice as the one that you had earlier in the theme park? It's very hoppy. Okay. No, it's nicer than that one. Oh, is it? Yeah, that was just like a fair. Yeah. This kind of tastes like pop. Yeah. <laughs> I just have apple juice and it's not theme, um, not hotel inclusive or anything exclusive. <laughs> I'm quite boring like that. <laughs> Let's look at the bottle. Or I just spot. <laughs> the bottle is taking the logos on it. Oh, so yeah. I keep, I keep it. It's cute. I kind of want to keep the bottle. Let's do it. I don't yeah, know. Know. It'll be a bit, a bit much. Yeah. Can you imagine I'm trying to put that into your yeah. back? <laughs> You can keep the sticker probably, you can take it off and keep the sticker. Nah. <laughs> Fine, I'll enjoy the moment. <laughs> yeah, I can take a picture of you with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. I love this, guys. I, As, I know, it's so cute. As a so, Mayo fan. I'm so glad we were Mayo fans. Yeah, we if you didn't, we'd be like, what the hell? Why have we put dots of mayo on top of the bun? The chips look nicer than yesterday. Yeah? They're fresh. Yeah, oh, yeah they do look fresh. Um, so this is our food. We both, both Marie and I went for burgers um, with mayo on the bun and cheese and bacon and whatnot. Um, we got to mayo and I don't know what this sauce is. Is it fry sauce? It must be, yeah. I don't know. Is it? Is it good? Must be. It's good, yeah. Anyway, we are gonna eat now. The burger and chips was really nice. Chips especially, I thought, were really nice, weren't they? Yeah. Um, the sauce as well, very good. Um, we have now moved tables from there to here. I've got hot chocolate. Mm. We have another beer. Nice vibe in here. It's, it's the end of the video, though. So, <laughs> well done for what, having seen this extra bit. Goodbye. Bye forever. <laughs> <Till tomorrow. laughs>